crossfire. On the left, Tom Brayton. On the right, Robert Novak. In the crossfire, Washington Times columnist John Lofton and rock musician Frank Zappa. Good evening. Welcome to Crossfire. What you've got here is suggestive, and I don't find it objectionable. But when you actually listen to the words of the songs, you get a shock. Personally, I find some of them in such bad taste as to make me physically ill. And some of them I wouldn't have in the house. Now, on the other hand, do we want the government to ban the sale of records with lyrics the government doesn't like? Do we want the government to say this is okay, but this one will have to go? And who should be the government censor? Whose job should it be to listen all day to dirty records and decide whether you can? Do you want censorship of records that is now being proposed in Maryland and in congressional hearings? Or do you want to make the decision on your own? Take it or leave it all by yourself. Bob? Mr. Zappa, let me see if I can get your position straight. Are you saying that there is no filth, no pornography, no obscenity that should not be permitted to be sold and distributed freely in this country in the form of music videos and rock music? I don't think that music qualifies as pornography. And especially since this whole business started with words. We're talking about words here. All, right. All the complaints were about words. All right, take the pornography out there. Is there no filth, no obscenity that you think would qualify to be suppressed? We're talking about words, and I don't believe that there is any word that needs to be suppressed. There's no scientific or um, realistic reason why you should keep people from hearing certain so they, words. Yeah, but there's, 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 there's certain words you use that, that are, uh, to describe an act of fornication which are, are brutal. So? Well... Uh, how, about, how about putting that on the radio? That's not put on the. That's not permitted to be put on the radio. Do you think it should be? Yes. You think it should be on the radio? Absolutely. And on television? Absolutely. And, and, and in politics? I don't well, really understand because that. it's already in politics. I think that if you use the so-called strong words, you get your point across faster, and you and you can save a lot of beating around the bush. Well, well, why are people afraid of words? Well, look, Mr. Zappa, we're not talking about just words. When we talk about rock videos, we're talking, we're not about, talking about rock I videos. I beg your pardon, but the what, whole thing is words. I beg your pardon, but what they're trying to uh, they're selling it with rock what they're videos. They're trying to restrict in Maryland is also obscene rock videos. No, they so, are not. Well, they are. They're trying words. to apply the obscenity language to videos and to records. But why do you underestimate the power of words? Words have uh, consequences. They have impact on people. Now, I agree with you that the first line of responsibility is the family to stop the kind of garbage that we're talking about here today. But good grief, can't we call on our government to help us in this fight, Frank? I mean, you have kids. Are you an anarchist? Is it the government's role to do nothing about this? No, I'm a conservative, and you may not like that, but I am. And the fact of the matter is, this bill that they're talking about in Maryland is stupid. How so? What is the function of government, Frank? The civil government? Isn't it to, in part, promote the general welfare and to help protect families? Do you think that you're protecting somebody by taking away seven words? It's not just words. It is words. It's about words. Words also connote ideas, Mr. Zappa. Are you, are you for songs that portray incest as just another kind of sex and perhaps even preferable sex? Are you for that? Would you ban the mention of any incestual activities? Would you? Well, why don't we make a plan? Why don't you better take show. a look at the Bible yeah. and see what's in there? What yeah. happens after Sodom and Gomorrah? The Bible Sodom does not Gomorrah. advocate incest. But it, it mentions, condemns it, Frank. It mentions Wake up. it. Well, are we? We're talking about advocacy, Mr. Zappa. No, we're not. not we're by talking him. about words. No, we're, we're not talking, talking about, about just content words. of the words. Oh, you don't think words connote ideas? Huh? Yes, they can be assembled yeah. into sentences that get yeah. ideas. Well, how about answering my question about incest? Do you support records that promote incest as just another kind of sex or in some instances it might even be preferable do you agree with that no i don't agree with it i have no interest in incest but i don't think that anybody in his right mind would uh -huh. desire to have the government step in to make sure that they install a censor board that uh -huh. keeps certain things from being said let me ask you something Mr. Rabbit. because this... sometimes the dumbest thing that gets said makes the point for you and if a person is doing a song about incest it gives you a chance to say maybe incest is really wrong i didn't realize that incest was such a terrible problem in the United States that we suddenly needed government intervention to cure incest in America by uh, keeping words off of records. Well, Mr. Zappa, incest I... in America didn't used to be such a terrible problem, did it, Mr. Zappa? That's come about in the last 20 
years oh, or so. Oh, that's not so. Oh, really? Which is no, I, so. I, I under, I not as a problem. Not I advocated in songs. I understand your sure. position on government censorship, but just you're you're all you're a musician, you're you're a producer, a big man in show business. Do you think it is a good idea? Let's not say that the government's going to give this all. Just just as a matter of taste of artistic purpose. Do you think it's a good idea to write lyrics that says incest is good for you? Does that make any sense? Well, it m might make sense to Prince. That's his business because that's mainly the song that they're talking about. But don't you okay? have an opinion on it? My opinion is he's got a right to sing it, he's got a right to say it, really? and i got a right really? to not buy it. Where does that right come from, Mr. Well, you... Where does the right to advocate incest come from? That song does me? not advocate incest. No, there are songs that advocate incest. Tell me them. I Where? haven't heard them. Says incest. Well, we got to get it. out more. And I, don't, I don't think you're being candid with it. You know what those signs are. Uh, songs are. Now you said there's a right to do this. Where yeah. does the right come from? Your group was called the Mothers of the Invention. Mothers of the Mothers invention. of Invention. You gotta and get out more. Yeah, and you're a very inventive guy. You make up you a lot of stuff, like what was in the mind of the Founding Fathers. Would you look in the camera and tell them? Which that, camera? That, any camera. <laughs> and right, tell you're them. directing the show yeah, now? Yeah, that's right. Well, you certainly need some direction, Mr. Zappa. Well, you, spank would, me here? Come on, what are you trying oh, to do? Oh, you into that too, huh? No, I'm not into spanking. I love uh, it Mr. when you froth yeah, like I'm that. Sure. Now, would you tell our viewers that what the Founding Fathers... I thought he was going to be the one frothing today. I'm glad that you did. Wrong again, Frank. Wrong again. Now, got a napkin for you. You tell us? Excellent. Thank you very much. Him too. Now, would you look in the camera and tell him with a straight face that <laughs> yeah. you think the Founding Fathers had in mind the kind of garbage you sing and write when they drafted the First Amendment? Do you really believe that, Mr. Zappa? I don't think it applies. The Founding Fathers, for one thing, kept slaves. And take a look at what Benjamin mm -hmm. Franklin used to do over at the Hellfire Club. But you have repeatedly... Not exactly you have a bunch of swell guys. I, I think they had some good I things in mind. But we have a document, the letter of the law. Yeah. Let's use the letter of the law and interpret okay. it based but, but, but on wait the wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It is yeah. relevant because you have repeatedly, in opposing even ratings for rock music, you have repeatedly cited the Constitution and the First Amendment. Do you think the Founding Fathers really had the First Amendment, that they gave us the First Amendment to defend songs that glorify Satanism and incest and suicide? Do you really believe Absolutely. that? Absolutely. You really believe yeah, that? Yeah, I believe it. Oh, you're an idiot. Yeah. You're an idiot. Mr. Well, I'll tell you what. Kiss my ass. How do you well, like take that? Take your teeth out. <laughs> take your teeth out and we'll talk to you. All right, fellas. Let's, 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 yeah. let's, let's call it yeah. Yeah. Come on. Let's yeah. get really serious here. Come on. Let's just yeah. yeah. <laughs> Over to me, Mr. Mr. Zappa. One thing you did I didn't think you'd do is you what? ducked a question. I thought you'd Which one? I understand your position in the government. I understand you have an absolutist position on the First Amendment. A lot of people have an absolutist position. But I asked you a question and you ducked it. I want, I want you to tell me if you think that the lyrics saying that incest is a good thing have any artistic value or, or are in good taste or if you if you approve you must have some some standards of your own i'm not I'm talking about the government you asked me for my opinion i don't enjoy that kind of material i'm not here to sell records for prince or anybody else yeah but you defend it uh, being sold don't you yes i yeah, do well, defend you're part of the sold. problem but, the, but don't you no, don't, John, I, I, don't you think it would be a good thing to say to some of these people to cool it no, it's not my. It's not my job. What is your job? My job is to represent myself. What is your job? You once wrote a song called "We're Only in It for the Money." It's not a song. It's the name of an album. Is that you right? You got to get out. Yeah, man. yeah. How much money you made peddling this stuff, Mr. Zappa? Millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah. Millions of dollars, Mr. Lofton. All right, look. It seems to me, Mr. Zappa, that you've got to ask these people. Both of them are on you. Right, what they would me? He's accusing me of doing something that is similar to what uh, that is being argued about. My Listen. lyrics aren't in question here. Well, what or not? What would what would you propose, Mr. Lofton, as the uh, the means of uh, of censorship? Well, I said I agree with Mr. Zappa that the first line of defense and responsibility is the parents. But what I do not agree with is that the parents have to stand alone, and we are not entitled to call upon our government to help us in the fight well, against now, this wait kind a of thing. What, what is? I mean, I, I what have government? To you wait a minute, advocate. John. What you government censor? Yeah. What government censor is going to decide for you? It's not. Tom, I've heard you say repeatedly on this show that we are our government, that we're allowed to call on our government. Well, you have to have a man who is the censor or a woman. Well, well, the way they have to decide this Tom. often can hear and this no, often sir. cannot hear. Tom, it would work the way the uh, implementation of any law works. You pass a law, it has words in it, and then the uh, elected representatives of the people try their best to apply it. It's the way you do it with everything else. Will they apply it perfectly? No. But we're entitled to use the force of our civil government uh, to help protect our families. How could you oppose that? If, does like the government you. have any purpose, Frank? Yeah, it has what? a number of purposes. What is it? I'm not going to give you a civics lesson here, but yeah. I'll tell you one thing. We must not see eye to eye on the idea of a government that must forbid things in order to protect really? What is the government's role? 
tell me several times, how about, how about national defense? Yeah, I consider this things. national defense, pal. Our families are under attack from people like you with these lyrics. John, you don't have to buy them. Mr. Zappa, <laughs> could I make a statement sure. about national defense? Yeah. The biggest threat to America today is not communism. It's moving America toward a fascist theocracy. And everything that's happened during the Reagan administration is steering us right down that pipe. Oh, oh Mr. No. Mr. Zappa, do you, yes, do, Mr. You, Zappa. do you really think? I mean, <laughs> all, really kidding, think that. all kidding aside, in this country, with the permissiveness that we are moving toward a fascist theocracy, anything yeah. You know, we are, but, you know, I mean, do you, do you think things like this would ever have been permitted when we, when, we 20, 20, when we were kids? You're about my age. Maybe I'm 45. Well, I'm 55. Do you think when, when I was a kid that they would permit songs like that to be sold? I mean, permissiveness is the game. I mean, I mean, you're not you're not really serious if you if you're saying we're going toward a fascist theocracy. <laughs> That's right, we are. Wait a minute. And what way? Give me, give me well, one example. Wait, 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 wait. One example. One example of a fascist theocracy. When you have a government that prefers a certain moral code derived from a certain religion, and that moral code turns into legislation to suit one certain religious point of view, and if that code happens to be very, very right-wing, almost toward well, the till of the hun, well, then you are an anarchist. Every form of civil government is based on some kind of morality, Frank. Morality in terms of behavior, not of in terms of theology. Well, of course, but look, I mean, I couldn't believe in your John, hearing. John, in your hearing. Okay, wait a minute, gentlemen. We, we, uh, we have to take a break now, okay. and we'll be back with John Walsh and Frank Zappa talking about rock music, I think, after these messages.